Hey YouTube, welcome back to my object-oriented TypeScript series. In this video, we'll go over multiple inheritance and interfaces. Let's create a character class, like we've been doing, with hunger and health properties. And let's create the hero class, which extends the character. And this is going to have an eat, and the eat will replenish the hunger by, let's say, three. On the other hand, we have an enemy class, which also extends a character, but the eat method will only replenish the hunger bar by one. Now, let's say in our program, in our RPG game, we wanted to create some sort of spy class, right? A spy. And the spy is a good spy. So it is a hero, and it also is a enemy. I don't know why I wrote extends. Enemy should be right there. In the real world, you're going to have relationships like this where there's multiple inheritance, right? You want the spy to be considered both the hero and enemy for for inheritance. Let's say the enemy has specific things like enemy can have enemy ID, right? So the spy needs to be able to pass as an, pass off as an enemy. It needs to have an enemy ID. And also, let's say hero has an ID as well, right? So the spy needs to extend both for inheritance, but it also needs to be considered as both for polymorphism. In the previous video, we went over that. So you might your first attempt might be to create a spy class and extends both the hero and enemy. And the compiler complains, saying classes can only extend a single class. And the reason why classes can only extend a single class in TypeScript and other languages like Java is because there's something called the deadly diamond of death. Here we have the hero class and the enemy class, and they both have eat methods, right? We can declare this, this character class as abstract, and then we will also have an abstract method called abstract method called eat. And then these two are concrete classes that implement it. If a spy extends from the hero and enemy, which eat method does it inherit? This is ambiguous and it's non-deterministic. So because of this, TypeScript disallows extending from more than one class. There is a workaround with Nixons and I will cover that in a later video, but for now we're sticking with these constraints. So the solution to this is actually interfaces. And what interfaces are, they are similar to classes, but they are more so like 100% pure abstract classes. So here we have two concrete classes and instead of providing concrete definitions for the, for the eat method, we want to convert this into abstract, more abstract methods without bodies. So here we're going to convert this into a hero interface. And interfaces can still extend classes and other interfaces. So this is going to extend a character class. So it's going to inherit these properties and also this method. So then let's have a hero ID is a number. We're going to convert the enemy class as well to an interface. Extends the character. And this is going to have an enemy ID, which is a number. So then instead of the spy extending to classes, it's going to implement, we're going to use the keyword implements, two interfaces, hero and enemy. So you can already tell by the verbiage of the keyword implements that interfaces are like pure, 100% pure abstract classes. There's no implementations of any methods at all. So then the spy has to implement the contract, the interfaces, the hero interface and the enemy interface. So let's do that. Let us have a hero ID, which is a number, enemy ID, which is a number. And then we should also have the, we should also implement the eat method, which will console.log or no, it'll just do this dot hunger minus equals one. Okay, so the reason why it doesn't exist is because we have to create it ourselves because we're not, we are not inheriting the, any, any, any properties. We have to, we have to create that on this, on this concrete class itself. So if I remove these, we see the type error. The spy incorrectly implements the interface. It's missing hunger and health and the same thing for hero. Because the hero and enemy extend from the character um, class, 
then we need it's saying that it needs hunger and health, but it's only an interface, so it's not going to let you inherit it. It's just an interface that we have to create our class against. We have to code our class um, against these two contracts. So then we're going to include hero and health, or hunger and health. And then we correctly implement these two contracts. And then in our code, we can consider a spy as a hero. And we can also consider it as an enemy. So when you need multiple inheritance, there's one trade-off. You have to trade off the in inheritance. You cannot have the spy class inheriting any concrete behavior or state. Interfaces just act as contracts. And the, the benefit of, of these is that it gives you polymorphism. So you can still consider a spy as a hero because it passes it as a test. The implements is also another word that you can use for the test. A spy is a hero and a spy is a enemy. And of course, then when you convert these classes to interfaces, it's like pure abstract classes and you have nothing to inherit. So of course, you're not getting the main benefit of inheritance, but that's because you care more about polymorphism and so we've gone over a few different ways to create classes and entities and model relationships and object-oriented programming in the, in the past few videos. And I just want to summarize what we've gone through. We've learned how to create basic classes and then subclasses, the third one being abstract classes, and the last one being interfaces. So you want to create basic classes when you're when you when your class that you want to create does not pass the is a test for any existing class. So right now there's no classes right now, and I want to create a character. Since there's character is not does not pass the is a as a test for any of the classes in this code, since there is no code, I'm just going to create a brand new class, a basic class called character. Then you want to create subclasses when you want to create more specific versions of a class already existing in your code. So since I want I want to create a knight and archer and the knight and archer passed the is a test for character a knight is an archer and a and a and an, no sorry a knight is a character and a archer is a character then i will create subclasses of the character so i can inherit stuff so class knight extends the character and likewise for the archer and let's create another one for example, three, and let's say this is a mage. You want to create abstract classes when you want to create abstract classes when you want to create a template for for other classes, for other subclasses, but you don't want that class to be instantiated. So let's say the mage can be broken down to two other classes called wizard. Wizard extends from mage, and also a witch extends from mage. But we don't want, in our, in our code, we have decided that we don't want the mage to be instantiated. So we are going to mark this class as abstract. And then it acts as a template for these two classes. So we get the benefit of inheritance as well as polymorphism. And lastly, what we just covered in the, this video, interfaces. You, you want to create interfaces when you need multiple inheritance. So when you need some sort of spy, uh, in our example, to be considered as two different types for polymorphic reasons. So we could create a hero class which extends from character. And then let's change these guys right here to hero. And then we can also have an enemy. And then in this example, in this video, we had a spy class which wanted to extend from hero and enemy. But we cannot extend for more than one class because of the double the deadly diamond of death. So we convert these hero and enemy classes to interfaces. Interface hero. Interface enemy. And then we can implement these things. And then of course I didn't cover this example in this video, but because if you're adding more classes, you now have to convert these to implements. So yeah, that's the difference between all of these four and